I met Brandon Sega as a when I was a senior at Ohio Wesleyan, and he was a freshman. And he and I were uh, pretty close because we were on the same pitching staff, and then we were in the same fraternity. Later on, he moved back to Upper Arlington, and he and I stayed close. He ended up being one of the groomsmen in my wedding. I mean, we were really, really close friends. Cause he's a fantastic guy. Um, on New Year's Eve 2015, he was struck by a driver on Riverside Drive. Um, it was a really bad case of reckless driving. The other driver was going close to 80 miles an hour and T-boned him and he died on impact at that site. For a few months later, um, I learned that he had wore bow ties every Tuesday to his job. And his parents presented me with a bow tie asking me to do the same thing. And ever since then, I have worn bow ties every Tuesday. They're uncomfortable and they're dorky and I don't like them, but it's a cool way to remember him. Um, so I've kind of kept that tradition up. We did at uh, in Dublin is we had a day that honored him and also like brought recognition to reckless driving and like not texting and driving, not driving while impaired, just everything that encompasses you know an effort just to like keep people safe on the road. Um, so one of the neat things we did is we had every student in the school like either wear a bow tie, bring a bow tie, have a clip on bow tie, whatever it was, just and then we had like took pictures um, together just to kind of like raise that awareness for that cause and it was a really positive thing um, so to bring that back here now that I work at Upper Arlington where he is an alumni um, he graduated in 2009 I just think that'd be a really special way to keep his memory alive keep his family involved and kind of let him know that while he is gone um, this it doesn't have to go to waste we can still raise awareness and try to eliminate some of the things that cost him his life